must have rained some more overnight because my car is all wet on the inside again. But that's fine. It's whatever. I've got two exactly as of Tuesday the 5th. I've got $2,300 left to pay on my car. And then I can get a Jeep and it'll just be fine. So, yeah. But it is uh, it's a little chilly here today. Which is slightly unfortunate because I'm wearing flip-flops. Which probably isn't the wisest decision. But tonight I'm going to go get my toenails done with my mom so I'm not wearing shoes for that um, I guess I didn't need to wear them all day the flip-flops but I also was not sure as to what time what is going on here I wasn't sure what time I'm actually gonna get home um, from running all my errands and stuff because it's Thursday uh, so I just decided that I would just wear them all day just and I like flip-flops and sandals and summer wear and it's freaking May and it's still cloudy. I mean, I like it, don't get me wrong, but like the weather only does this when I don't want it to do it and then it doesn't do it when I want it to do it. Like if my birthday was like the way it's been all week, that'd be great. That would be absolutely great. And I know I said this before, because the weather always goes like this the day before my birthday and the day after my birthday, but never on my birthday. And it's upsetting. But whatever. So, yeah. So right now it is 1045 and I am in a super, super duper amount of pain. Um, not only in my mouth, but I've got like cramps that aren't even freaking cramps anymore. It's just, it's terrible. It's terrible. What am I gonna do? Nothing. So, yeah, right now I am going to the bank. And then I'm gonna go get some lunch, probably at Chipotle. And then I'm going to figure out something to make for dinner. Um, last night we didn't really figure out anything to make and I was like, oh yeah, well we have, you know, we have some ground beef that's frozen, we could thaw that out, but it was already like seven by the time we decided we were going to thaw it out. Um, and it was funny because it was like, I came home from work and then Zach needed to go to Lowe's and he needed to go to the store. So we went to Lowe's and we went to the store and then we didn't, we asked each other what we wanted for dinner, but neither of us needed really gave an answer we were just like oh I haven't thought about it whatever and then we get back home we're doing stuff and it's like 7 30 and I'm like well we can't thaw out ground beef he's like oh well if we have chicken well no we didn't have chicken either so because I was like oh well you know the easiest thing we could make is tacos because we've got shells we've got you know um the beef we've got beans it'll be great not that it wasn't great, but it was, it just wasn't probable to cook all of that at that time of night. Um, so we decided we would have sandwiches and fries. So that is what we had for dinner. And it was good, but yeah. I mean, it's still bright outside, kind of. Kind of. So tonight I have to figure out something to make for dinner, and then I've got to run some errands, and I'm probably going to go get. I'm gonna go to the nail salon twice today because I've got, I gotta get these, these bitches that have to be taken care of. Um, and my mom doesn't get off work until 4.30, so we're gonna go get pedicures around 4.30. So I don't wanna be sitting at the nail salon for like two hours in a row, so I'd rather go get my nails done first as opposed to waiting to get them done there so after I meet Zach and whatnot I have to stop by work <laughs> and do some stuff she <laughs> speak of the devil she just texted me um is it still even over there anyway and so we're gonna go yeah I just yeah I don't want to sit there for like two hours at 4 30 like just no yeah I'm thinking maybe of going and getting margaritas first because margaritas are good and I was I'm 
buying my mom a pedicure for her, or not for her birthday, for Mother's Day, and she's actually already got plans on Mother's Day, so, um, because I was like, oh, okay, well, we'll go do that, we'll like, go have some brunch, and, you know, go get our toes done, it'll be great, no, she's like, oh, I have plans, so, I'm like, oh, okay, so, there's potholes everywhere, um, so, I was like, all right, well, what about Saturday, she's like, oh, I work, I'm like, okay, and she's like, like so she works like 4.30 every day, so we couldn't do it. So then she's like, okay, well, I got my schedule switched so I don't get off the closing on Thursday. We since you have Thursday off, we could do it Thursday. I was like, all right. So instead of going and getting like mimosas at brunch, we are going to, um, well, she doesn't know this yet, but we're going to go get some margaritas. And then I was thinking, because there's like a certain chain, I think I've already said, talked about this too, but there's a certain chain of um, nail salons that we like a lot, and we were trying to think of one to go to last night, and we were like, you know, I don't know, which one do you want to go to, which one do you want to go to, and then, you know, there's this one, and this one, and this one, so we decided that, um, well, I started thinking about it and thinking about each one, and like what restaurants were by each one. So, to see if there's like, we can go get a drink first or something. So, I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. So people are driving like maniacs, but I was just thinking, like, I am going to tell you guys things that normal people don't tell you, like normal YouTubers. You know, I mean, a lot of the time you see the YouTubers and stuff, and they're like, oh yeah, I'm not perfect, and you know, like, for the fitness ones, you know, they sit there and say they're not perfect, and they have random cheat days, I mean, yes, they have scheduled cheat days, but they also have, like, I just want ice cream cones, so I'm gonna go eat this goddamn bucket of ice cream, like, and that's just how it's gonna go. And I, you know, it's good to show people that, but it's also good to, you know, say you don't do it all the time and whatnot. But at the same time, I just figured I'd make the lighting better. I'm gonna tell you guys things about myself that people usually don't talk about, um, like my issues in my mouth, and I have no very insist, and that's why my cramps are not like cramps, and they're extremely shitty, and I think this car is extremely sexy. Oh, it's a Mercedes CLA. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah, anyway, it's like right next to me now. Um, but I, I'm gonna tell you guys stuff about that. One, I usually don't, I don't even like tell friends about that because I don't wanna seem like I'm complaining about something. Like, you know, cause there's people who are like, oh my God, every single month. Like, I have people to this day that are like, oh my God, I'm cramping so bad. Oh, my cramps are, oh, I can't function. And it's like, you don't even know. You know, and I'm sitting here like at the same time, like with unbearable cramps, but I don't say anything about them because I don't want people to, you know, think I'm crying wolf all the time or something. Like, I don't know. I just am not a person. Like, I'll complain to Zach, but I don't even tell him all the time when it's hurting. And I should because there's times where I sit there with like a horrible look on my face and he's like, um, are you mad at me? And I'm like, no. And it just continues on that way and it's not a good thing to do so you should tell people but I'm also telling you because maybe you know there's someone out there who loves watching all the other beauty people and YouTube people and they're like oh their lives are so perfect and oh I wish I was like them and oh they don't have any issues their teeth are perfect their periods are perfect and just all this stuff that's absolutely untrue and it's like while we look at YouTubers as celebrities and stuff, like, kind of, um, they're normal people too, you know, and so that's what I kind of want to get out there, is because maybe you can relate, maybe you have an ovarian cyst too, maybe you have an impacted wisdom tooth too, and it sucks, and, you know, while you're sitting there laid up at home because you're in so much pain, or because you just got your tooth taken out, or whatever, you know, you can watch a video about somebody who video with somebody who knows what you're going through. Um, 
and something else is I'm not turning my channel into a, oh, this is my, you know, team impacted wisdom tooth and, you know, team ovarian cyst. Like, no, I'm not going to make it that. I'm, I just want to make it normal for people. I just want to make it, like, clear that this stuff happens. So, that's what I think. Presently at Chipotle. I think I'm actually early. I don't really know. Maybe I'll get this and I'll then go to the gas station and get some drinks. Because it's only 11.06 and I'm not supposed to meet him. Well, I guess it'll be enough time for them to make it and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of put that out there so that, you know, people aren't like, oh my god, why are you, why are you talking about that? Because it's normal. It happens. Oh, and... A, oh, I took a picture. And another thing... I hate that song. Is I saw on um, one of Marissa Lace's videos this morning. I saw somebody commented. They were like, why are you always wearing workout clothes? Like, even to go out to eat and hang out with your friends. Like, are you just too lazy to change clothes from the gym? I'm sorry. Have you ever worn athletic clothes? Have you ever worn workout clothes? Like, they're comfortable. And once you wear this for a while, you don't want to go back to normal clothes. Like, for important things, but, like, just when you're chilling, you know, why wear anything else? If you're confident in it, if you're comfortable in it. I mean, I actually saw something about Colorado because, you know, we wear athletic wear a lot here, apparently. And it's, I can't remember what they called it, but it's, um... I don't remember what they called it, but they basically were saying, you know, it's okay to wear athletic wear everywhere unless you're going to go to like, you know, a wedding or something. But other than that, just do, do whatever, do you. So I like my sunglasses a lot. What color should I get my nails done? You guys tell me. Well, you won't tell me. What color do you think I'm going to get my nails done? So, I just wanted to do like a, a gas station snack haul for you. It's not even snacks, but I got water for Zach. And then I got myself, I already have um, my little this bottle of water. And then I got myself some tea, and this stuff is great because it's got like nothing in it. There's like no macros at all. Um, and then I also got this has macros. You can bet this has macros, but I needed some go-go juice and Normally like this time last year Zach and I would have opted for Red Bulls, but this is what we got and they were two for four So I got Zach one too So, Cuz I'm nice like that, but It's getting cloudy. You can see it. You can see it. I don't know, but yeah Target Where else would I be going right now? So I just got done at Target and I was going to show you guys this on the way in but I didn't. Um, so where I parked, like that's disgusting. That is just absolutely disgusting. And when I first glanced at it when I got out it looked like some strawberries. Let me tell you, it's not strawberries. It's blood on gauze. That's just disgusting. Ah! Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You guys want to see what I got at Target? I'll show you. Ready. So at Target, I got some. Ugh. Put these up here. They're not necessary. But I got at the dollar spot for a dollar these three little, um, it's a three pack of snack cups. And I also got, I don't know if you can hear me over the music. I also got a two pack of snack containers. And I got these because I'd been looking for some snack containers just because I don't like putting everything in Ziploc bags all the time. Um, and these aren't the biggest containers ever and they're definitely not the sturdiest containers ever, but I got them for a dollar so I don't care. Um, these are nice. I can stick like a serving of like something in there. I don't know. And then these ones, so I figured I can stick them in my purse too. Because I don't always bring a tiny little Michael Gore's purse. Um, these ones, the square one looks like this. So it's like just small enough. I could put it in my purse and like put some wheat thins in there or something. So I got those two. And then I also got a box of 
hair color because I have been lightening my hair, which I mean, you can tell, but I've been using sun in like I use every other summer to highlight my hair and um Colorado the state where you get 300 sunny days a year well right now just in the last three weeks alone we've had all of our cloudy days so it's been cloudy it's been staying cloudy and when it's sunny the sun's only out for like 10 20 minutes and it's intermittent so and it's while I'm at work so it's not gonna be like oh I'm sorry I can't check in patients I can't draw your blood right now the sun's out I have to go stand in the sun so I can highlight my hair like it's just it's not working out and the bottom half of my hair isn't being highlighted by it mostly because I wear my hair up all the time and even if I don't like even last year when I wore my hair up I would like just spray the bun with the sun and stuff and it wasn't working as well because the underneath of my hair is extremely dark like you can see like it's really really dark oh there's a little red-headed baby so I was looking at hair color yesterday but I was like just in a lot of pain when I was looking at it so I couldn't really decide on one and so then um a lot of them like the really cheap light blondes and stuff like because I used to get Revlon and that one's not good because it's the cheapest and it's like just ammonia filled and whatnot but I got this which is L'Oreal's Excellence Cream and this is their Blonde Supreme Triple Protection Color with Pro Carotene Collagen and Ceramide. It's got long lasting gray coverage. Yeah, it doesn't really matter to me. But um, ultra lightening and brass controlling and I do have a lot of red in my hair and I also, when it started getting cloudy, I went and bought a conditioning treatment that would lighten my hair as well, but it's not, I mean, it is working and it makes the top of my hair lighter, but like the underneath it's really not doing much too. So I just wanted to, this is extra light ash blonde and I am ash blonde anyway. So it's gonna, I mean, you can't even see it. So right. So it's gonna just do that. And you can see this little guide over here. So it's not gonna make it too, too light in my lighter spot or my darker spots, but it'll do some good things. So I got that just because I'm sick of waiting for the sun to come out and I just want to be blonder. And it's funny because, um, I mean, I highlight my hair every summer anyway, usually with the sun and stuff, but I just wanted to, um, I watched some Blonde vs. World this morning and hers is so blonde. And I want my hair to be blonde. Er. So. So we're gonna do. Let's get it blonder. Oh! This is my favorite lip gloss, like, ever. This is the, um, naked one. I don't really know what it's called. Sesso, maybe? I don't know. I just really like it a lot. I think it's a good neutral color. Um, and it's funny because it came in that naked on the go palette box thing. And I had watched, um, Graveyard Girls review of that. And she liked almost everything in there, but she hated the lip gloss because it was like all sticky. And it definitely is a little bit heavier than I would prefer for a lip gloss, but it's not as heavy as I've had. So it's not that bad. But like, and she didn't like it for the color, but I like it because sometimes my lips just look super pale. And I just need some form of color on there to kind of blend my face. So this one works out really well. I think it's a very kind of natural color for myself. Um, so that's why I like it. But... So, I don't know what's going on here. I almost got a new sports bra, but I didn't. So, yeah. So, my grand total of what I spent was like 10 bucks at Target. So, now I am off. My clock is dead. Oh, look at that. It's 12.57 because I said my clock was dead and it came back on. Um, so, now I've got to go get my nails done. And then, that shouldn't take more than an hour. And then I'm going to go meet my mother. And, yeah. I'll vlog some more during all of that. But, I like this. They actually color what colored ones too, but I'm planning on sending it with Zach, so I'm not sending him a pink cup. Um, but yes, so gotta go find where I want to get my nails done at. Let's see. All right, so I'm apparently driving west right now, and like you can see the mountains, but you can barely see the mountains because there's so many clouds. Like, because I've been driving on Kipling, and I thought that I was going west on Kipling, and I'm I'm not. I don't really know where I am. And then I was like looking for the mountains to see what
which way I was heading because there's a mountain over there that's called Table Mountain that you can climb. Well, not really climb, but it's like a hike a bit. And I was like, oh, well, I know where I am. And then I'm like looking around and I'm like, oh, wait, the rest of the mountains are over there. Like, it's just, it's confusing. It's crazy. And um, 300 days of sunshine, guys. So I totally just realized I've been driving the wrong way for 20 minutes. And here I am always saying, hello. I know my way around Denver. Yeah, I can get around Denver. I can't get around Arvada and Golden, though. Apparently, every time I'm driving there by myself randomly thinking, oh, it's just a grid. I'll just take this street. And then I end up lost. I'm not really lost, but like just way off on some faraway street. And I should have just turned when I said I was going to turn. Ah! Alrighty, so it is now about 2.30. Um... And on the way to get my nails done, I drove by my work and I was like, okay, well, instead of going going to work after I get my nails done, I might as well, since I'm right here, just go file and do everything I need to do. So that's what I did. And now I'm on the way to get my nails done. And hopefully it does not take longer than an hour because being that it is 2.30, my mom texted me and said she now gets off at 3.30 instead of 4.30, which is awesome. So we're gonna meet up at 3.30 instead. Um, so that's cool, which will you know get me home sooner and everything. So hopefully I can go get these claws redid in a matter of an hour-ish and then get over there, so. We'll see, we'll see. The good thing is, is that, cause it's snappy nails that we go to, so the good thing is that there's snappy nails like everywhere, so I can just kind of go to different ones and get them done. Cause I don't really want to go to one, get my nails done and then leave and then come back. I mean, I could and they probably wouldn't care, but I don't know, I just, I don't know. I don't know, but um, yeah, so let me know what color you guys think I'm gonna get. I'm gonna keep the same shape. I'm actually gonna have them make them more pointed just because I don't wanna, I mean, I like the round shape, it's nice, but they were more pointed the first time, and I definitely think I like the almond shape better than just the round, so we're gonna do that. And I don't know what color I'm gonna get yet. The first color I got was, um, I can't remember what it was called, it was OPI something, and it was a very, very light pink color that you couldn't really even tell it was pink, and this one is something about, like, sorry, I'm not fizzy tonight or something, and this one's like a peachy, corally color, which is really nice that everybody liked, so... I don't know. Everybody's wearing like purples and blues right now. So I don't know. We'll see. I think that having my nails this shape as opposed to the squares, because the last time I was getting my nails done, um, back in like November, obviously the first time I got them done, I got them white tipped for my wedding. And then um, after that, I just kept getting colored tips. And I really enjoyed getting colored tips. And I really never got full colors on my nails when I get them done so I think having them this shape because I'm not going to get a tip because I think tip like just my personal opinion I think it looks weird if you do a tipped color while they're rounded um unless it's like very very short rounded and it's a French like a white tip French and that's it but I don't know I keep getting colors so we'll see we'll see we shall see Alrighty, so that took a whole lot less time than I thought it was going to. It's like she knew I was in a hurry or something. It's now 3.13. So it probably took like half an hour maybe, if that. So that's pretty cool. Um, I got this color. Ah! And I got the more almond shape, which I'm super excited about. They're like tannins now, which I absolutely love them. Um, this color right here is called... Don't Bossa Nova Me Around by OPI. It's kind of a very, very neutral, lightish purple, which really works out for what I was trying to do because I definitely, you know, saw like Nikki Black and just got like that kind of bluish color. Um, everybody else is going with like this light lilac color and it's like, I want spring colors, but I don't, didn't want it to be like super bright and vibrant yet. Um, and I really think just kind of like going from what, um, Marissa Lace has done with her nails when she has them like claws like I think they look really really good on her when she does like the white and like the really light neutral colors so that's what I did so now we are gonna go 314 according to my clock which means it's like 312 but I don't really care so I should probably head over I'm meeting my mom at Outback and we're gonna get some margaritas and then get our toes done and it's funny because while I was getting my nails done she was painting them and she said she really liked this color and she might use it for herself because she was looking 
for a new color to do on her toenails and then I was like oh yeah you know that's actually a really nice neutral color and she was like oh yeah do you want a toenail color change too you know um then you can match your nails and I was like uh, not today because I'm going to go to a different snappy nails and get a pedicure so that's kind of funny but I really like the lady that did my nails she did them really good the last time she did them she like cause they were the first time I did them they were pointy but not this pointy and um so then she actually made them a little bit more round last time, which was fine, but now they're a little pointier, so I like them. So, uh, yes, I will talk to you guys when I see my mom. So, now it's 3.35, according to my lovely unright clock in my car, and it's 3.32, actually. So, I'm at out back, and I'm just waiting for my mama to show up. I really like this shape, though. But, uh, yeah. Excited for this pedicure, though. I haven't had a pedicure in, like, God, when was the last time I got one? Sometime last year. summer -ish. So it's, it's about time. And, uh, yeah, she should be here soon, because she works really close to over here, which is why we picked this place. So. Oh, is that her? No, that's not her not her old lady car. Something on my nose. Did she get a new car and not tell me? No. I don't know. I don't know. So I didn't film any of that but we got their top shelf margarita which is amazing. I've had it several times at Outback with Zach and instead because it's $9.50 for one um, or you can get the shareable pitcher for 27 and I'm like oh well we'll get the shareable pitcher that way we can each have like you know more than two maybe at least two and it'll be cheaper right yeah because it'll be 38 for four so why 38 for four so why not get a pitcher for 27 and have two each you know for a few dollars cheaper like ten dollars cheaper no the pitcher of margaritas the shareable pitcher only gave us two one each that's it and I could have gotten four for 38. Like that's absolute bullshit. Like I am not happy about that at all. So uh, Outback, you suck for that. Your margaritas are great, but I'm not about to spend. Like, and then she kept coming over. Oh, do you want another pitcher? It's like, no, I'm not spending $60 on four margaritas. They're good, but they ain't that good. I could take that $60 and go have like eight and make them myself. So yeah. So, obviously, I didn't vlog any of that. Um, we got our toes did. I was going to totally take a picture, but then I didn't even take a picture. So, I was just relaxing and very much needed. Um, so, we both got French toes done. And, yeah. They look lovely. Lovely. And I'm on my way home now. We also went to Albertsons because, you know, where it's lace, went to Albertsons. And she actually, it's where she found those case protein chips. And I found... Oh, I bumped you guys. I found mine at Walgreens. Um, they only had a couple flavors at Walgreens. Had a ton of flavors here at Albertsons plus the cereal. I did not get these at Albertsons or Walgreens. I ordered them online. And if you guys stay tuned to my blog, I'll have a $10 off coupon, I believe, for um, the online one, which you can get any flavor and do whatever with, oh, which is great and dandy. Um, so stay tuned to my blog for that. I'll also put it on my YouTube and stuff. Um, I think I put it on Twitter when I got it, but... So yeah, so that is that is that. I don't know what we're having for dinner. Oh my god, my hair looks like crap. I don't know what we're having for dinner. I never decided upon that. So yeah. I'm excited to color my hair though. I don't know when I'm gonna do that. Probably sometime this weekend. Then I'll go to work. People will be like, oh, did you curl your hair? It's like when I straightened my hair for the first time, everybody was like, oh, what'd you do? What'd you do? Did you highlight it? Something looks different. I'm like, no. 
My receptionist is like, oh, you, do you put red in your hair? I'm like, no. It's actually there. My nose is red right now because it's kind of cold outside. Until we walked from the nail salon. Why are you coming over here? Don't come over here. We walked from the nail salon to Albertsons, which is just like in the same shopping center, so I didn't really care. But, yes. So, it's supposed to snow. Not excited about that. Not at all.